If you're not careful, you'll get weeks and months and years down the road procrastinating. And yeah, you might feel busy, but you won't be productive. Hi friends, I'm gonna tell you what steals our time more than anything else. It's not people, it's not projects, it's not problems, it's another word that begins with the letter P. It is procrastination. Procrastination can be the biggest thief of your time. And if you're not careful, you'll get weeks and months and years down the road procrastinating, and yeah, you might feel busy, but you won't be productive. Now, you have to be careful when it comes to procrastination because procrastination, listen, it disguises itself very, very well. It can disguise itself with, well, I just am way too busy, or I've got too many other important things to do, and, and, and you get the idea. And before long, I am putting things off. I have a feeling that if I looked at your to-do list, I might find some things that have been on there for way too long. And the reason they're on there is because you have procrastinated. Now, the good news is that a majority of us understand this. There are very few people that never procrastinate. But there are very few people that learn to overcome procrastination by simply developing new habits. Just like any other habit, you can learn to create things in your life that will help you overcome procrastination. Right? So let me give you a few ideas. One is just start. You know, sometimes we make things way too hard. And we're like, I can't do that, so I put it off another day, I put it off another week, instead of just taking that first step and starting. Another way to look at it is to eat the frog first. Mark Twain said, if you eat a frog first thing in the morning, a live frog, that nothing worse can happen to you the rest of the day, right? And so every day, what can I do to move something forward? Every day, what can I do to eat a frog first? What is, what is it that I can do to just, here's the thing, we get hung up over these jobs and or over these tasks or over these ideas because they just seem so overwhelming. And I have found that those overwhelming tasks, those overwhelming projects really aren't as bad as I think if I just start taking some small steps. If I eat the frog first. So, Question, what frog do you need to eat? What frog do you need to eat today? What frog do you need to eat tomorrow? What frog do you need to eat the following day? When you start eating a frog first thing in the morning, all of a sudden those tasks, those jobs that you would typically put off start getting done. And all of a sudden you find that I'm not just a busy person, I am actually a productive person. And that's what I wanna help you become. The last thing I want for you is for you to be busy. The world is full of busy people. What, you're, what you need, what your family needs, what your ministry needs, what your company needs, is they don't need you being busy, your company needs you being productive. And one of the greatest ways to achieve productivity is to stop procrastinating and start doing. There's an acronym that I read in a book many, many years ago. I've got it written down on my desk in my office. The acronym is P-I-T-T-O-T. P-I-T-T-O-T. And what that acronym stands for is this, that procrastination is the thief of time. Procrastination, sometimes I procrastinate because I think, well, you know what, I've got way too much going on and so I have to do this later. 
when actually I am costing myself time by procrastinating. Because when I procrastinate and I procrastinate, procrastinate, I end up doing a sloppy job. I end up getting forced up against a deadline where I can't think as good. I end up delegating sloppily. And so I need to learn that to be effective with my time, stop procrastinating and start doing. Remember this, your biggest problem is not people. Your biggest problem is not a problem itself. Your biggest problem is often procrastinating. And the quicker I learn to overcome it by just doing and just eating the frog first, the happier I will be, the more satisfied I will be, and the more successful I will be.